Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Reward Challenge versus the Czech Federation tournament winner Jatai Kuyuk from Turkey. Challenge accepted. Thanks to all these sponsors for making this happen. Have fun! Hello everyone, welcome to the first River Challenge in 2022. There has been actually two tournaments already played, so let's have a look how they ended up. The first one, which uh, happened to be actually on January 1st, uh, that was my first uh, thing I actually did when I woke up uh, on January 1st just to play the Czech Federation tournament. Uh, during Christmas or at the beginning we have a little bit less participants uh, than before. Still, it's quite challenging and, well, I managed to win on the January 1st with 33 imps. So, that was a pretty good tournament, a good run, but just notice these disasters where I actually redoubled in two clubs, uh, Stayman, and if we just have a look uh, with what hand a partner actually passed, um, then uh, it's not a success and I will probably not do it again with only four cards. But Ace-Jack, you know, we have the majority of points, non-vulnerable, so very often if you just redouble, you score a lot of points. Um, unfortunately, partner passing uh, should have a hand with, like, usually three clubs uh, would be good, or a minimum two, uh, then uh, I will have a great chance to actually make even on a 6-1 split or 5-2 split. So, that uh, costed me a huge amount of imps, like 18 still. I managed to win the tournament with plus 33 in front of Jadai Kuyuk from Turkey, uh, who managed to score only uh, 32 imps. So, beat him by one. Norwald from Norway being third with plus 29, so everything was pretty tight on the first. The next tournament uh, happening the week later, so January 7, well, I was returning from Spain and playing at the airport, not focusing too much, and you can see on the score, minus 24 as um, one of my worst tournaments ever. And if you just look at the scorecard, like one, two, three uh, disasters and one, two, three, like bad medium boards, uh, see a grand slam going down from six, I was a little bit uh, too aggressive and everything was uh, breaking badly. So that didn't end up very well uh, for me, uh, but it ended up very well for Ivan, who won with plus 48. And against Ivan, I will play tomorrow or let's say on Thursday evening uh, on the live stream. Then the Yana. Uh, from Czech Republic, uh, usually being at the bottom now, plus 44, amazing score for her, and Kevin taking the bronze with plus 37. So these are the winners of Czech Federation tournament, but right now we have the reward challenge against uh, Jadai, we so far played only two challenges, I won one, lost one, so all fair and square. But a reminder guys, this time I'm playing a Polish club system, with reverse carding. So let's have a look how that will work for me. Okay, three, six, seven losers, five cards, great middle cards, queen, jack, ten, nine, jack, ten, king, king, ten. Every, all these middle cards are improving the hand. So we're happy, I guess, to fight for a part score on third level. We just don't want to let them play when we are non vulnerable. So, three hearts here should be just competitive. Double standardly might be like a takeout bid, like invitation. Uh, if this is penalty, then we might be in troubles. Um, going down twice if we lose two spades, two diamonds, and then two clubs. Well, partner should have something. So, let's have a look. 
Porn is covering me the hard loser, um, but not anything else. So, well, one club loser. So we're losing two spades, two clubs and two diamonds. So most likely I'm going down for 300. But if I wouldn't have bid and they bid three spades, they can definitely make four spades because they're losing only two hearts, maybe only one and uh, then probably a diamond. So we will see how it goes. Okay, so let's see if oh, hearts are not splitting. Hmm. It's actually not good. So I have to stop drawing the trumps and start establishing uh, clubs. Unfortunately, now they might get the club rough, uh, but I have to do it. Otherwise, they will shorten me down. Oh, this is good. This is actually strange. So uh, that worked. Now I can establish the club. I can still play the King of Diamonds, but I think that if I play the King of Diamonds, suddenly they will switch to spades. So I don't think that I will be able to discard the diamond and still it will be roughed. So I'm just going safely for two down, drawing the last two trumps, um, writing down minus 300. But that's life. Sometimes these things happen. Hopefully on the other table, on a good day, they will make 420. See, so they're not losing a diamond. They can rough the club. So they can actually make 11 tricks. So even if they play only three spades, that would be... Uh, that would be 200 and I will lose only frames. So let's have a look. C5-4. This is a really strange double with a four card fit and a singleton. I think um, three, four, five losers. Ace-queen, ace-queen behind the strength. Uh, this should be a direct jump to four spades. So if I didn't bid, they, he might bid three hearts or three spades. And this guy might actually accept the invitation having four small hearts. They just have a perfect hand, both of them. Yeah, and I went for amazing. So let's see the free heart bid actually worked really well. See free hearts invitation, free spades, four spades. Um, I just don't understand the double, but good for me. Good for me and a good start. Okay, 13 high card points, 3, 4, 5, 6 theoretical losers. So, seems to be a little bit better, but no middle cards. So, theoretical losers is just missing aces, kings and queens. We are not counting with the others. So, if you count two theoretical losers in hearts, that means that it counts that the queen will score the trick. And if partner doesn't have honors, then most likely the queen will not score the trick. Also, the other thing is that we are hoping that we will establish the fourth club, which is also not a guarantee because we don't have the nine and the ten, which improves the chance significantly. So we just uh, repeat two spades to show a minimum. Well, I'm bidding kind of automatic um, as I bid with like the natural five card major and not Polish club. But these style, these sequences should be actually the same. Okay, so we have two hard losers, hopefully no spade loser if the queen drops, no diamond loser, no club loser, um, should be pretty straightforward, I don't even want to play the 10, I can just rough it or discard it, so it doesn't, it doesn't really matter, this is not the board uh, which will determine the winner. So let's just dump the hearts, lose two hearts and a trump trick. So very easy, 10 tricks. Hopefully they accept. I have to lose those three tricks. 
So this should be a tie. Yeah, nothing interesting happening. Three more boards to go. 15 high card points, partners opening. So two, three, four, five, six theoretical losers. If partner is having extra, so four owners, still I need to get rid of one extra loser. So it actually tells you that the 15 count which I have is not like perfect. The queen jack opposite partner's length is good. If partner is having four diamonds, ace king, suddenly I can dump the club, but I can dump the spade, but uh, I have the queen, which is the third round. So discarding the spade will actually mean that the queen of spades is useless. So if um, the queen will be king or an ace, it will be completely different hand and I will drive to a slam. Now I really have to wait what partner will say. Um, and since partner is having minimum, I just stop in a game. Although we have a diamond fit. Shortness. Okay, so let's see. So Stanley, we are losing a diamond, no club, uh, no heart, and we have to do something with the spades. Uh, we have to rough the clubs. So I'm quite happy uh, where I am. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine tricks in no trumps. So we'll be playing for over tricks uh, with possible finesses. Unfortunately, I have to lose the spades. Uh, since East led the spade, I'm expecting him to have the four card. So I have two options, either to play the club finesse or to play the hard finesse first, while I still have an entry. And hard finesse is safer at this moment. Uh, I will have like more chances later on to squeeze them. So caching two hearts, now caching the diamonds, and we'll see at the end if I will play the club finesse or not. So you know the advantage is that uh, we know that East is having the King of Hearts and he still is keeping the spade. Discarding two clubs and discarding one more heart. So right now East is actually having an extra spade, hopefully, and the King of Hearts, minimum. So that means that if I play the club and he even have the Jack, so the finesse and clubs is guaranteed and easy 11 tricks every imp counts so you should be making these over tricks let's see if uh, jedi reached the slam um the spade finesse is off but the hard finesse is on so you can discard the spade but you can discard only one spade from each side so uh, unless there is a very fishy squeeze at the end uh, which might be possible if you tempo everything right. Maybe, maybe it might be possible. Plus one. Perfect. I take it. I'm just wondering. Okay, so we have four and three is seven, eight, nine, ten. So we've got only ten tricks from top. from top with two finesses already so yeah having 10 if you have 11 that would be fine but we have only 10 you need two tricks when you, once you need two tricks the squeeze is usually not on unless one player is having all uh, top cards and he is squeezed uh, with all three suits so have to discard them uh, one trick ahead actually Okay, part is a past hand for spades opening. Two, four, five theoretical losers. So if partner has nothing, no defensive tricks, they might have four spades because I have only three defensive tricks, potentially, of course, because the diamonds can be roughed. If partner has a club owner, then the club owner can be roughed. So four spades has a reasonable chance to make. So if I try to bid, uh, Four no trumps to show uh, a two-seater hand, then uh, I might not get doubled, and even if I get doubled, I probably don't go down more than twice. So I probably I probably risk it, 
because we still can have a game there and I don't want to like let them play I definitely don't want to double them okay so no diamond loser no spade loser two club losers and one hard loser so we have a spade hopefully only one diamond defensive trick and one heart so they have four spades and we're undoubled so I mean it's quite fine right I think there might be a singleton order with uh, with a east so I probably rough the spade and play the club from north because if there is a nod see then I will play the queen and then playing the second round clubs from south which should be fine Yeah, and that's it. Down one, minus 50. So let's see. And a diamond seven, but not making a contract. So let's see how it will be. So they are losing one heart, one spade, two diamonds. Hmm. But the heart they can discard on a club unless we play the heart soon enough. And they don't have an entry, so four spades can be actually beaten, so I can lose three imps. If you lead the queen of hearts, they win with the ace, and that's it. Then you have to lose three tricks. And I mean, the only bad lead here is... Okay, even cashing two diamonds or playing three rounds of diamonds is bad. Uh, leading a club is bad, leading diamonds and switching to clubs is bad. Um, once you have the singleton queen, yeah, well, let's see. And a tie. So Jada decided the same bit for no trumps. Went one down. See, he played immediately club and ducked. Um, which might work. Might be risky as, as well if the singleton owner is not there, but we all uh, had a feeling that it is there. Well, suddenly 15 high card points. So this is the difference actually in Polish club. You might more be tended to open one spade because now the rebid of two no trumps is only like 15, 18 or 16, 18. At least it should be. I didn't test it yet while in the national system it should be more because you might be stronger so i more like tend to open a spade because uh, i have a minimum hand still i want to declare everything not necessarily from my side but it might be it might be better so do i do i bet two no trumps one spade, one no trump, two no trumps. I think I'm opening one no trump. I'm not in the mood of testing that yet. Ah, oh, five forfeit. Too sad. So is this the lead from the king towards the strength? I don't think that Arjun does it. But anyway, probably it doesn't matter because um, I just win one diamond trick anyways. But it's better to have the quick Quick winner. Okay, let's do it like this, guys. If you don't know, the best is to unblock, like with the 10. Because now if you need entries, I can either overtake the 5 with the 7, or play the 3 to the 5. So always when you have a chance, try to create the situations it's, it's like a good habit we don't need it on this board uh, but sometimes you might need it and not realizing it at the beginning so this is a very good practice not to uh, play from bottom just try not to block the suit and keep your options open so four five six seven eight uh, i have easy eight tricks and I don't think that I will try the hard finesse unless something strange happens. Yeah, it doesn't really look. 
So West is having two more diamonds, two more clubs, two hearts. I don't think that he's having the queen of hearts. So I will try like the Chinese thing. Because I think that if I play the jack now, they cover with the queen. And the 10 might drop. Pity. It was close. It was close. But from the discard, you kind of feel that they don't discard from the queen. See, he could have had like first 10. That would be the play. Ace and then the jack. Okay, so I have a spade loser. I have a I have a hard loser. I have two clubs losers, so maximum I can score 140, but most likely I will lose a diamond as well if they don't lead it. If they play on hearts, that's the best for them. Probably sooner or later they have to give me a trick, but uh, King 9 is behind the 10. So I think we might make only 110 in spades. So let's see for Jad I did. Uh, the only way how we can lose is that he bids a game and made it. No, didn't happen. But he bids the game but went down. So one spade, three diamonds. Probably like a Bergen style. 7-9 with a four card fit. Two, four, six, seven theoretical losers from south. So it doesn't have like big chances. Uh, if the hard finesse is on spades break, then actually you make four spades. So it has a reasonable chance. And if Jada expected that he's losing, he actually had to be aggressive on this board. Also, he's watching my videos, so he knows that I'm aggressing, aggressive in bidding vulnerable games. So he might be feeling that he needs to go, but I, guys, I don't have the Bergen setup. So my bidding will be one spade, three spades. Uh, that usually I accept, but one spade, three spades in my style is like um, uh, distributional invitation. Uh, while one spade two no trumps is invitational based on three honors. Uh, it can be more, it can be four, but not five. So always um, it's better to have the bids uh, limited uh, because that helps you not to give away information if you are trying for a slam. So thank you very much, Jadai. It's a win for me, but that doesn't mean that the next time uh, it just can change. So guys, I uh, hope to see you all tomorrow on the first actually live stream on my YouTube channel. And then uh, this weekend or actually starting from Thursday evening up to Saturday, once again in the Czech Federation tournament. Take care. Stay safe.